Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be changing a keyboard on an HP laptop for a customer. This one's got a, a whole load of keys on the left hand bottom corner that aren't working so we're going to go through and swap this out today. So the issues that we got on this keyboard are we have a selection of keys not working here so we've got a replacement keyboard. So the tools you're going to need for this are a Phillips screwdriver, uh, a spreader tool and potentially a nylon clip to release the base cover. You want to release all the screws all the way around. The reason that you've got to take the base cover off is because there's a couple of screws inside that release the keyboard and on this particular model all the screws are the same size okay so once you've got all the uh, all the screws out you want to release the, the little uh, modem or sim card slot uh, which I believe can be used, is it a card reader? I'm not sure if it's a card reader, but probably a card reader <coughs> cover. There's one more screw under there, which you take out, which is the only other smaller screw. Put that to one side, and then the case should just unclip quite easily on these models and release like that. Okay, next up, inside the case we're looking for some um, release screws for the keyboard, which we've got one here and we've got one here. So they're the two keyboard release screws. Before we go any further though, we are just going to pop the battery out. And to remove the battery, again there's two little sprung loaded screws that you release until you can hear them clicking and then you take your spreader lift up the flap and then the battery will just release and come out so we we'll put that to one side you don't need to release any of these down here uh, all the cabling is on the other side so once we've got our keyboard screws out you want to put those to one side they are the same size as the cover screws Okay, so now we've got the, key, the two keyboard screws out, we can, can either put the cover back on, don't really need to, but... Uh so that I suggest that's the last one you put in and then you've got um, our little track button the track button cable is over this side and then you've got the backlit keyboard uh, tab which is just there so the first one we're going to release is our main keyboard ribbon cable and you just lift the little securing clip up and that will pop the cable out and again same for this one, you can remove that cable, and then the third one, you can remove that one just by gently pulling that out and releasing it. And then that's the keyboard released. Got two little sticky pads there that secure that down. And then we take our replacement keyboard. And we hope that it's the right one. Okay, and our replacement keyboard, if we have a look, 
Okay, so this is a previous, this is a used one. Hopefully it's all working. And then we've got our ribbon cables, our three ribbon cables ready to go back in. Okay, there we go. So, getting the keyboard put back on is the exact reverse. So we're going to take our little trackpad dongle cable first of all. And we're going to slide that into this connector down here. Lock that into place. And then we're going to take our second one, which goes in here. Again, we're going to make sure it's in the right place. These can be a little bit fiddly, so. Yeah, so that's those two secured. And then the last one is the trickiest one to get in. You want to move the keyboard over to the left this one so you've got sufficient uh, cable so you can get in there without damaging the ribbon so you want to make sure that you're very careful not to put pressure on here or tear this in any way lift up the release slide that in there making sure it's in the right place Once it's in, you can put your locking block down on top of it and then slide it back in and the bottom clips go in first and then the rest of it should just carefully snap into place all the way around. Once you've got your keyboard in, Close your lid, turn it over, remove the cover again. And then what I'm going to do before we go any further is just secure the keyboard with our two keyboard screws. We want to make sure that everything is working. So we're now going to reattach our battery. Screw the battery retainer screws in, pop our cover on, we're going to turn that over and we're now going to switch on to make sure that everything's working. Okay, so there we go. Okay, so that's mouse is all working, trackpad is all working, backlit keyboard is all working so let's turn the light out we can have a look at that the backlit keyboard that's all working and now i want to check these keys over here that looks good the keyboard is all fixed now what i'm going to do is we're going to shut that down Now we know the keyboard's all functional, all the keys are working. And the next thing you want to do is we're going to pop our screws back in. So don't forget we need one long, smaller screw just under this card reader cover. Slide that cover back in and then put the rest of the screws in. That's it. Next thing, all we're going to do, we're going to pop the power cable in there. Make sure we've got some charge going into the unit. Then we take a soft cloth just to give this a wipe over. Get the screen clean. And that's it. 
that's all repaired and that's how you change the keyboard that comes with the backlight and the little tracking dongle in the center and that is now good as new so if you found that video useful give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one